All right, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator on Autumn Oaks. Um, yeah, we're gonna get going on this. Um, we got tillage. We are balls deep in tillage right now. Uh, so I got one strip done, and I started the second strip. Um, if we got time in the video, I'll probably end up having to mix another batch of feed, but we'll see how things go. Um, and all that kind of stuff so but we will see so yeah but yeah we should have a decent episode I haven't done one in a couple weeks video here in a couple weeks and uh, been busy doing other things and all that stuff so and been back to work for well, my second week so we're gonna get rolling so let's get started get rolling on here get this fired up So yeah. This gonna or get this cultivated all up and real nice. Get this feel cultivated, get these stocks knocked down and everything else. So we can go ahead and get um so we can get our wheat going here. So pay attention to what we're doing here, check out. So yeah. But yeah, I haven't even touched the game in a couple weeks. So, I mean, <laughs> we got a rain day hopefully coming tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all damn day tomorrow. And I've got 35 hours here in the last three days so come on fucking rain day come on <laughs> I am tired of shit um, so yeah we got done a little bit early today so I was able to uh, go ahead and get this um, going so got home took a little nap for about an hour wife and I got something to eat and I said I'd babe I gotta get a video going here I haven't done one in quite a while so we uh we'll go ahead and do a video here but yeah we're gonna go ahead and start getting this all worked up so we're planting our wheat but yeah, it's uh, been nice actually being back to work, being outside and getting something done. I already have a tan, um, <laughs> and that's just from, you know, like I said, this is my second week back to work. So, like I said, I already got a tan, so. It's been nice. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Took it off, hit off the vape and then decided to choke on my own spit. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I hadn't done a video in a couple weeks and I figured I gotta get one going here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get one going. But uh, yeah, like I said, if we got enough time in the video here. We're going to do another, we're going to go ahead and mix a batch of feed and all that, so. Yeah, 
I'm starting to get some hours on this tractor, but like I said in my video, we used our 4430 every day, so I guess I'm taking it for Grandpa. Um, and so, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> but, um, But yeah, I, it's been kind of nice though, I mean, so getting back to work and stuff, and, you know, it's a simple shit, like, you know, listen, I listen to 94.1 Madison's radio station, and getting to hear the funny stuff on that in the mornings, and, of course, it's rock, I can't listen to country, I fucking hate new country now, um, but anyways, um, but yeah, I caught the fake of the day today, and it was fucking horrible, um, I don't know if this woman has never, um, I, I don't know if she's, if she's just ever had any fun or anything, I don't know if she's a virgin, um, but that certainly did not sound anything <laughs> like it was supposed to, um, she sounded like she was getting fucking stabbed, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, wow, this is fucking horrible, um, a lot of times it's good, a lot of times it's, it is good, um, but, um, yeah, this lady was, it was, it was god awful. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> really made me think if, uh, she's ever, like I said, <laughs> any sort of fun. Um, yeah, <laughs> fucking, it was, it was bad. Um, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> I, yeah, it was fucking horrible. Um. It, there was one last week, um, if you ever watch Bigfoot Hunters and stuff, uh, the hoots and hollers that they do, um, that's what the shit sounded like. Um, so, <laughs> it was, that was one day last week, it was like Thursday or Friday or something like that. Um, and it's, like I said, a lot, so sometimes, and I've talked about before, yeah, sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it's absolutely fucking horrible. And... I don't know, maybe if it's stage fright, maybe they they call in saying, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna we're gonna knock it out of the park," and then you know uh, it comes down time to do it, and they can't do it. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with that or, or what it is, but yeah, it, um, it definitely was not good. <laughs> I guess that sounded like she was getting stabbed. And I don't know, it, rape on the radio is not a good thing, it's not a good thing at all, regardless, but, uh, <laughs> it was fucking bad. Um, and I'm sorry, but if my wife decided, if, we, <laughs> if they were going to give away, like, Five Finger Death Punch or God's Night tickets, um, I'd be calling my wife and be like, hey, <laughs> let's get this done. <laughs> go on there and uh, fake it and uh, <laughs> she'll be like well what do you mean I'll be like you know do like from last Tuesday <laughs> or whatever day and uh, my wife's probably gonna fucking run me so this will probably be a eulogy video so if you ever love me um, <laughs> go ahead and uh, <laughs> leave a comment <laughs> Yeah, it's something nice, because, <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm probably going to end up dead now. <laughs> my buddy Kenny is going to probably have to take over my videos and things, so... Kenny, I hope you're up for it, um, because I'm probably going to get murdered. And, uh, yeah, she's uh, she's definitely giving me all dirty looks over there. <laughs> Love you! <laughs> but, uh, anyways... But, yeah, it, I, like I said, I don't know if it's a stage fright thing or what the hell it is. Sometimes it's fucking porn star quality. Uh, like, if you didn't know any better, she was, uh, you know, take, you know, her old man was taking care of her, her old lady, whatever. You know, I'm equal opportunity here. Um, whether you were, uh, you know, hot dog and bun or scissors, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, <laughs> fucking, like I said, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's fucking absolutely horrible. And I, like I said, I don't know. <laughs> stage fright thing or not, but, 
like I said, being uh, being stabbed is not uh, <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was fucking bad. <laughs> But no, then, of course, they got funny, funny uh, news stories and you know, all that kind of stuff. Because, quite frankly, uh, normal news is depressing as fuck, so it's, thank God. Um, but they, you know, they got funny different news stories and things like that. And one of them was today they were talking about, or was it yesterday? Yesterday, it was. But um, they were talking about this uh, lady accused her boyfriend of cheating or whatever the hell and he denied it or whatever and uh, so rather than you know taking his word for it or just you know whatever leaving done the end of the relationship the guy cheats fine whatever end of the shit you know it's just done it's over with whatever move on uh, she decided not to do that but to cut off part of his winner um, yeah <laughs> Cut off the head of his dick and threw it in the uh, toilet and flushed it down the toilet. Um, I don't think my wife would do anything like that, and if she did, she'd end up fucking dead. Because she cut off enough that he was never going to be able to use it again. Um, so, I I don't know. Like I said, you know, the, the, the relationship, you think he's cheating, whatever. If you want to end it, fine. End it. But cutting off somebody's wiener is pretty fucked up. Especially now when he's going to have to then deal with this the rest of his life. You know, and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And that's going to fuck up all of his future relationships and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So I really don't understand what part of you thought that that was okay. But I guess. Um, it is what it is. If you really want to go that route and think you need to do that, well, I guess, um, but it, for me, I, I don't understand the reason behind it, but anyways, um, <laughs> Johnny Danger said, well, he asked Piat, she goes, um, which I don't think Johnny Danger is his real name, uh, <laughs> although in some of the promos, he calls himself Jonathan Dangerous, and, uh, Biatch's real name is Deanna, I can't remember her last name, but anyways, so Johnny said something about, well, how much could she have cut off that now he's not going to be able to use it, and she said a little over a half inch, and uh, Johnny Danger goes, really, you're going to cut off a half inch and you can't use it no more, he's like, that's, I don't understand how that's possible, and my thought is, and I don't care, you know, if you're offended, it's whatever, <laughs> It's just jokes. But cutting off a half inch and not being able to use it, he's Chinese. <laughs> um, that should explain itself. I shouldn't have to explain any more than that, other than he's Chinese. So, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, she's going to be in jail, I think, for the rest of her life as well as she should be. Because... Um, McDonald's coffee is delicious. Anyways, yeah, she's going to be in jail for the rest of her life as well. She should be because uh, not only is she fucking up the rest of this guy's life, you can bleed out and die from that. So now she's looking at attempted murder and, and all this kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one. <laughs> that's a rough one. And for a reason, they must have been on some streak with wieners because, um... The next story was talking about um, this kid apparently here in the States. Um, and if I was smart, which I think I'm going to be, I'm going to do one of these. If 
But anyways, they're talking about now. This was in the, here in the states. They're talking about a kid was born with uh, three wieners. <laughs> yeah, three wieners. Um, <laughs> there was a, and the only thing I can think of, um, there's a show called The League, and one of the things was, um, it was a big thing, it was always talked about pretty much every episode, <laughs> was three penis wine, and that's the only thing I can fucking think of today, and it was making me laugh, um, but, you know, like, the parents and stuff were shocked, like, oh my god, how did this happen, and, and I didn't know this, but it, it's something like, one in, in uh, ten uh, male babies is born with more than one penis. Like, I didn't think that was even remotely uh, a, a, a statistic. Like, I didn't think that there's no fucking way. But according to doctors, it is, tends to happen. Um, and, and that is something that actually does happen. So, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> Like I said, I didn't think that was even remotely possible of a number. Um, but, eh, whatever. Um, and I, I don't know. It's something... Like, my wife, she's... I don't even know how many ultrasounds she's had. It's probably in double digits by now. Um, but you would think, like, here in the States, with uh, enough times that you have to go in for ultrasounds. Now, she's in, she's been having to go, like, once a month uh, for doctors and checkups and everything like that. Um, but now she's, she's going to be, she's in her seventh month. Um, she's going to be um, going every two weeks. So, but, yeah, anyways, so with the amount of ultrasounds and everything else like that, I would have thought that they would have caught it long before then. Um, so it wouldn't have been a huge shock. Like, if they can tell what sex the child is and see one, you know, obviously by seeing, you know, the genitalia, I would honestly think at that point then they should have been able to determine how many, if he had more than one that he's supposed to. And stuff like that is, is fairly common, I guess. In like, you know, especially having more than two nipples is like, I think that's like one in eight or something they said. So that's pretty common. And it was, they were talking about some guy that had uh, like, literally he had like five nipples. So he had them like all the way across his chest, like it was just fucking crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would have thought with the amount of ultrasounds and everything else that ends up having to be done, like I said, being able to determine the sex of the baby by looking at ultrasound and, and seeing what you can see. I would have thought that, you know, they would have been able to see that. But, I guess, I, I don't know. Um, it is what it is, I suppose. But, yeah. But, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't even think that was even remotely a real statistic, but apparently it is. But, that was just my thoughts on it. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely appreciate their funny news stories over <laughs> regular fucking depressing news um so and why there's a stock stand one row of standing corn there I have no fucking idea you can harvest it, but you can't um, get rid of it all, apparently. Yeah, okay, we do. We do have all three. 
Alright, I thought I missed this for, here for a second. And yet we're going to have time to do a batch of feed here, so... But we're going to get this washed up and cleaned up and put away first. But yeah, they were talking about, um, apparently the, uh, price of ketchup is on the rise, too. Um, you even got people selling fucking ketchup packets on, uh, eBay, because apparently there's some kind of ketchup shortage. I don't fucking know. Um, I, yeah, I... <laughs> That's one of the things what they said because of the whole COVID thing, you know, more people have been staying home and cooking and all that kind of stuff. Which, yeah, I understand. But why ketchup? Like, like, why just ketchup? Like, why, why isn't there a shortage of mac and cheese or something? Uh, that part's what doesn't make any sense. It is, I guess it is what it is, so. <laughs> but yeah, I... <laughs> if they do have a uh, uh, shortage of mac and cheese and it's not readily available, I honestly think my wife will murder somebody. <laughs> she really will. She likes the mac and cheese. Which she gets the... My wife actually gets the good shit. She gets the Velveeta. Not the cheap crap that tastes like the fucking cardboard box it's in. I cannot stand that shit. Um... But, yeah, I... <laughs> a fucking ketchup shortage. Like, what the hell? <laughs> of all the things to run short on. <laughs> fucking ketchup, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is what it is. But, um... Now we'll get this put away like I said. We should have enough... Time to do a batch of feed. So uh oh. Hooked in the door. I got too much shit in this shed. Making a pain in the ass to do this, but we'll see how things go. I really need to get one of those speed knobs on my game steering wheel <laughs> so that way I can do this a little easier. Take a wiggle over a little. And of course it's going to take me a couple times to do it. And yeah, I got way too much shit in the shed. Or I need to move something or some shit, I don't know. But, um... This is probably painful <laughs> to watch. There we go. Now we got it. I think I think I'm actually gonna wiggle it over just a little bit more. Because the one gang was kind of sticking outside the door. There we go. Now we got it done. Oh, this is 
is flopping a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we, uh, I remember I talked about it in the previous video. Um, my wife got her second gen or whatever, but, uh, we actually got the car sold, so. Dealership basically paid it all off with 400 bucks, the loan on it. So, but we'll be saving about 350 bucks a month by the time it's all said and done. Because we'll have. Insurance will be saving a hundred bucks a month, and of course we'll have the two hundred and fifty dollar car payment. Yeah, we should be all right with that. Yep. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get in this, but yeah, we'll be saving. Saving some bucks there. Uh, I got a fuel filter conversion kit I got to put on that at some point here. Because um, I think the fuel bowl is cracked. Because. And uh, that's a common problem, I guess, because I was looking into it. That's a common problem, I guess, on those trucks. So what it does is it just puts a plate in there instead, and then you put a normal screw-on filter, or spin-on filter, um, the same one that's on my new four, so, which I did that over the last weekend here, did oil changes on two trucks, changed the fuel filter on mine, greased them both up, all that jazz. And then I put a new valve cover gas and it's on my truck as well. And then, and then I put a new air filter on my truck because I've got the I got a can and cola intake. And uh, I just got a new filter. You can clean them, which at some point I'm probably going to clean mine. But um, it was bad. Um, I noticed, you know, I was looking at the top, and it wasn't too bad, or whatever the hell, 
and then it was just, but <laughs> I picked up the freaking filter and when I took it out there was shit falling off the bottom. It was dirtier than two pigs having sex. I'm not even shitting it. That's how nasty it was. So <laughs> I was like this, we should just first go ahead and replace this fucking thing. And I didn't. It, you know, seems to actually have more power and shit now. Crazy, right? Um video will be so in week so and I'm not gonna worry about cleaning up that grass until we uh haul the manure so which I'll probably end up putting on one of my hay pieces or something just to get rid of that. But yeah, I've, I've been like literally making like two to four batches of um, silage a day. Which we still got quite a bit of silage, but it's went down quite a bit since we uh, filled it up. Because literally to catch up after I bought all them extra cows, I literally made those like fucking eight batches of freaking TMR. Well, I did a video on that. That's all it was, is mix and feed. I think we're just gonna go pull in here and freestyle barn and get it dumped off. As we always say on the job site, Kitty Wampus.
not too bad at all. Let's put away. That's gonna go ahead and uh, wrap it up for the video here. So, till the next video, guys. Take your easy, happy farming, and um, don't let somebody cut off your wiener. <laughs>